in this lecture we will find the solution to problem 4.18 of Griffith third edition introduction to quantum mechanics uh, the problem 4.18 is a hydrogen atom starts out at uh, start out in the following linear combination of stationary state n equal to 2, L equal to 1, and M equal to 1. And L equal to 2, L, uh, sorry, N equal to 2, L equal to 1, and M equal to minus 1. So, uh, uh, then their linear combination is capital uh, psi of R, R and 0 is equal to, here T is 0, is equal to 1 over square root 2, uh, small psi, uh, 211 plus psi 21 uh, minus 1. So uh, construct uh, capital psi r of t. Uh, simplify it as much you can. So uh, this is the first part of this problem. This problem contains two parts. Uh, first we will see the first part that is construct the psi, psi of r and uh, the total wave function at time t equal to uh, given as the linear combination of two wave function. Uh, now we have to incorporate the time part of the equation that is uh, at uh, psi, psi of r and t that is uh, wave function total wave function at a time t we have to multiply this by e power minus i e to t uh, over h cross. So the wave function uh, psi 211 is equal to minus 1 over uh, square root of uh, pi a 1 over 8 a squared r e power minus r over 2 a uh, sin theta e power i pi. And for uh, psi 211, uh, 1, 1 minus 1 is this. Same uh, wave function with uh, plus sign here. Instead of uh, minus, we have plus here. Here it is minus negative sign. Similarly here, it changes the sign. E power minus. Other than that, uh, the wave function is same except this sign. And here the exponential term, sign in the exponential term. For detail, please refer my lecture on construction of angular wave function and the total wave function. I have given the link uh, in the description box. So if you add these two, you uh, first take the positive sign one. That is, uh, if you add uh, psi 2, 1, 1, uh, minus 1, uh, plus this one. Uh, because here you have a negative sign. So first I am adding uh, psi 2, 1, minus 1 and psi 2, 1, 1. So uh, you will get here, this minus comes from here. Uh, so, uh, so you have negative sign. That negative sign comes here. Here this is a positive. So e power minus pi. Here it is negative e power minus i pi. All other terms are uh, same. Uh, so uh, what will happen if you add these two terms? That is, uh, uh, that is e power uh, minus i psi minus e power uh, plus i psi. This is equal to uh, two times i sin pi. So I am adding this two. Uh, this two will cancel with this eight, will become uh, four. Uh, and this i I have taken here, and this is uh, sin pi. Uh, so we will further simplify it. Uh, so we got uh, this uh, sum of these two wave function psi 2 1 minus 1 psi a 2 1 1 is equal to this one uh, minus 1 over uh, square root uh, square root of pi a i uh, 4 uh, a squared r e power uh, minus r over 2 a sin theta uh, sin pi 
So if you uh, take care of the time, this is uh, for uh, time t equal to zero. If uh, yeah, any other later time, psi of r and t is equal to one over square root two, then this uh, sum of this two wave function multiplied by this uh, time factor exponential e power minus i e to t over h cross. Now you may ask uh, why that e to uh, e to because uh, we have uh, the this is generally psi uh, sub n l m. Uh, so uh, here n value in both wave function is n is two. So this is e sub n. So naturally uh, this will become e two. Uh, so e two uh, that is the reason why we have uh, mentioned as e two. Uh, so uh, psi of rt is equal to 1 over square root of 2, the sum of these two wave function, which is this one. That is minus 1 over uh, square root of pi a, uh, i over uh, 4 a squared r e power minus r 2 a uh, sin theta sin pi and this uh, time factor. Uh, so if you bring this uh, square root to inside, then first term will become minus 1 over uh, square root of 2 pi a. Remaining term we are keeping as it is. So this is the simplified wave function as uh, given in the problem. Then we will move on to part p. And now the part p is find the expectation value of the potential energy that is uh, expectation value of v. Then uh, next uh, sub question is uh, does it depend on the time that is give both the formula and the axial number in electron volt. So we have seen the total wave function with uh, with respect to R and T is equal to minus 1 over square root of uh, 2 pi A I uh, over 4 A squared R uh, E power minus R over 2 A. Uh, sin theta sin pi e power minus uh, e to t uh, minus i e to t over h cross. Now the expectation value by definition is equal to uh, integral of modulus i squared uh, v t3 uh, r because it's a three dimensional one. So which can be written as modulus i squared it is v uh, per hydrogen atom is of, uh, v uh, is minus e squared uh, over 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over r. Th uh, this is the uh, potential in the uh, potential of electron in hydrogen atom T3 r. Uh, then uh, now you square this uh, wave function. If you square it, uh, you will get uh, the first term will be minus. Uh, if you square minus it plus so if you square the first term this will become 1 over 2 pi a if you square the second term modulus square of the i is equal to 1 then this will become 16 uh, uh, 16 a power 4 4 a squared will become 16 a power 4 and inside the integral we have this term minus e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught since it's a constant i am taking this out leaving 1 over r. Then uh, the next part, we have to square this wave function, that is r squared. If you square this exponential term, this will become e power minus r over a. So 2 will get cancelled when you are uh, taking square. Then uh, this is uh, sine squared theta and uh, sine squared pi. Uh, this 1 over r I am keeping. Uh, now we are going to uh, cancel this r squared square with this r. Uh, so uh, then t3 r is that and if you multiply this two term you will get 2 into 16 32 uh, pi uh, a into a power 4 will become a power 5 and I am keeping this term as it is. This r squared will become r this 1 over r get cancelled. So this uh, remaining term e power minus r over a sine squared theta uh, sine squared by uh, t3 r. 
so uh, now we cut the expectation value of uh, potential energy is equal to 1 over 32 pi a power 5 uh, multiplied by minus e squared over uh, 4 pi epsilon naught integral over uh, r e power minus r a sin squared theta uh, sin squared pi uh, t3 r uh, here i want to replace this term uh, in uh, in uh, quantum mechanics that uh, we have proved that in problem uh, 4.3 i have given in the description box the link we have seen that uh, v of r is equal to minus h cross squared over m a r uh, that is uh, this v of r for hydrogen atom is equal to minus e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught r which is equal to minus h cross squared over m a r here r and r will get cancelled so this will become simply h cross squared over m a over m so i have taken this minus uh, h cross this is equal to minus h cross square over m a and uh, t3 r by definition is equal to r squared sin theta uh, t5 uh, t sin theta t theta t5 tr uh, now you take sin pi uh, see here sin squared pi only t pi is there we have to integrate between the limit 0 to 2 pi and uh, next uh, here you have already sin squared theta here one sin theta so this will become sin cube theta t theta integrated between 0 to pi uh, next uh, you have uh, this r squared multiplied by this r will become r cube integrated between 0 to infinite uh, r cube e power minus r a t r and uh, now uh, we will solve one by one uh, that is this integral first integral sin squared pi with respect to pi between the limit 0 to 2 pi is simply pi so i have taken this pi and uh, this uh, we have seen so many times is equal to 4 pi 3 this integral uh, that I have taken here. Uh, this is the last part of integral is r, uh, r power 3 e power minus r a. Uh, so if integral is this form r power n uh, e power minus alpha n t r, then integral value is n factor uh, n factorial divided by alpha n plus 1. Here alpha is 1 by a. So a will come into denominator. So this will be simply 3 factorial uh, a power 4 because this is uh, n plus 1, a power n plus 1. So this is a power 4. This we have done so many times. So I don't want to go into elaborate way. So we got this uh, for potential energy. So now we got the value of the expect, expectation value of uh, potential energy which is equal to 1 over 32 pi a power 5 minus h cross squared over m a uh, multiplied by pi uh, and uh, 4 uh, divided by 3 into 3 factorial a power 4. Now we will cancel some of the terms here. This pi and this pi will get cancelled. Uh, similarly, here uh, this uh, 3 factorial is 6. So this 6 will get cancelled with this 3. It will become 2. Uh, so uh, now uh, remaining term we will keep as it is. Here you have minus this one is minus h cross squared over 32 uh, here you have m uh, m a power 6 here you have a power 5 into a is equal to a power 6 this is 8 uh, 4 into 2 8 8 a power 4 now uh, you can cancel this 8 8 this 8 with this uh, 32 so which will become 4 
and also this a power 4 we can cancel a power 4 will cancel with a power 6 this will simply become a squared uh, so i am taking this uh, as of uh, minus h cross squared over 2 m a squared here you can see in the denominator you have minus h cross squared and in the sorry in the numerator you have minus h cross squared in the denominator 4 m a squared so 4 i am splitting into 2 uh, 1 over 2 um, uh, into 1 over 2 so this will become 4 so minus h cross squared over 2 m a squared uh, why i am doing uh, separating these two means this is nothing but the terms inside the bracket is uh, equal to the energy energy in terms of uh, h cross squared uh, h cross and m a uh, see for detail uh, by detail you refer the problem 4.3 uh, in which we have uh, derived that e is equal to minus h cross squared over 2 m a squared i have given the link in the description box now uh, this will become of uh, e for hydrogen atom uh, the e is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt so if you divide this by 2 you will get minus 6.8 electron volt uh, so uh, naturally this is time independent uh, so the expectation value is uh, time independent you got a constant value of 6.8 electron volt thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continu continuously thank you very much